You identified an investment that pays you the following year-end cash flows. If you require 5% return, what is the value of this investment today? So at the end of year one, you receive $200. At the end of year two, you receive $800. At the end of year three, you receive $250. At the end of year four, you receive $620. At the end of year five, you receive $3,000. And at the end of year six, you receive $3,500. And you want to determine the value of this investment today. This means that you need to determine the present value. So in order to uh, determine that, we need to use the CF function on the financial calculator. So you hit CF. And before you do anything, you need to clear, make sure that you always clear your work. So uh, to do so, you need to hit second CEC. Now that the uh, cash flow function is ready for input, we can just start uh, by inputting the uh, cash flows that we have. CF0 is cash flow at time 0, and uh, we have no cash flow, and so we leave it at 0. Then you push the uh, down arrow, and you see CO1. CO1 is cash flow at time 1, and at year 1, we receive $200, so we input 200. Then you hit enter. And then the down arrow, you see F01. This is the frequency of the payment. We are only receiving $200 uh, one, uh, one time during year one, so we keep it at one. Then you hit the down arrow, and it leads you to CO2. This is cash flow at time two. And we can see from our table that it is $800, so we input $800. Then you hit enter, down arrow. The frequency of the payment is just one time uh, during the year, so we keep it at one. We hit the down arrow and we go to uh, CO3. The cash flow at year three is $250, so we input $250. We hit enter, and then the down arrow. The frequency is just one time, um, so we keep it at one. We go down, uh, and then uh, CO4 is $620, so we input $620. You hit enter, down arrow, frequency of the payment is just one time, so we keep it at one. Hit the down arrow. CO5 is cash flow at year five, and we're receiving $3,000, so we input $3,000. You hit enter, the down arrow, we are receiving that $3,000 only one time, so we keep it at one. CO6 is the cash flow at year six, and it's $3,500, so we input $3,500. Then you hit enter, down arrow. The uh, we are we are we are receiving this payment only one time, so we keep it at one. And so uh, we are we are taken to CO seven. We have no cash flow at time seven, so we are done inputting all our cash flows. Next, to determine the present value of these cash flows, we need to uh, we use the NPV button. So we hit NPV. And you can see that uh, you, you see I equals, and uh, this is when we enter the interest rate that we are earning on this investment. From the problem, we, see, we know that we receive 5%, so we enter 5. Then you hit enter, down arrow, and here you see again the NPV. Uh, this is when you, you're, you're able to compute the, pre, the uh, net present value in this case. So we hit CPT to compute. And we can see that uh, the uh, present value of all of these cash flows um, is $6,604.47. This means that the value of this investment today is $6,604.47.